Hello friends, in this video, I will share with you how you can go about tackling and acing a technical interview. Now, what I will cover in this video is what to expect or what is a technical interview, how you should go about preparing for it, how you should go about answering a technical question and any mistakes to avoid. Now, starting with what is a technical interview? Technical interview is an interview where you are questioned pertaining to your hard skills and not your soft skills. Soft skills is usually behavioral interview or situational interview and I've made a couple of videos on behavioral interviews and situational interviews and I'll leave the link for those videos in the description. However, technical interview is about hard skill. This hard skill could pertain to your, let's say, Excel skills, your coding skills, your programming skills, your financial technical knowledge or your digital marketing technical knowledge and so on and so forth. So anything to do with hard skill that will be covered in a technical interview. Now, one call out is that in this video, I won't be covering a case interview. That is where you are given a case to solve a particular problem, which may also require some hard skill. However, for the sake of this video, I will talk about the interviews where you are asked a technical question, for instance, to understand your knowledge, whether you have the particular knowledge on that hard skill or not, but not the case. For case, I'll create a separate video and address how to handle or how to manage or how to solve a case in an interview so for now let's just get rolling on how to address technical questions or a technical interview now let me talk about how you should go about preparing for a technical interview or preparing for a technical question that you may be asked in an interview first and foremost most of the technical requirements that the job or the role has is already listed in the job description so what is that you need to do is go through the job description and make sure you have solid understanding of all the technical terms that are called out in the job interview and refresh your memory or refresh your understanding of those particular skills that the job or the role is looking for, which are already called out in the job description and prepare on them well. Now, the second way to prepare is to look at the title of the role. If the title of the role is somewhat similar to, let's say a certification that you've done in the past or a course that you've studied in your college or university, then go back to that course, refresh your understanding of key terms and key understanding of that particular course, refresh your memory. Even if that course is not 100% exactly the same as the title of the role, but is somewhat similar. An example could be if the role is about marketing technology manager, then if you've done a course on digital technology or digital marketing, then you can go back to digital marketing, refresh your memory, and refresh your understanding of digital marketing because some of the tools or concepts that you've learned in that course may be required for this particular role or you can always expand on them and tell the interviewer that how you can use what you've already learned in your technical education to service the kind of role they're looking for or the technicalities they're looking for in that particular role. Now let me take a break here and call out one important request. That is in case you find value in this video, then don't shy away from pressing the like button and more importantly, the subscribe button. So you get notified as soon as I put content out there on this channel. Now, why this is important is one, it motivates me. And second, it tells me what kind of content you like and hence allows me to make similar content. Thank you. Now let's keep rolling. Next smart way to prepare for a technical interview or technical questions in an interview is to pay a lot of attention when you are having your screening interview or the first interview with HR. Usually these interviews with HR or the recruiter are like 30 minutes long, where they, they're just trying to understand whether you have big picture, the right skills for the role. And second, to tell you and sell you the role itself. That is where you should ask all the questions pertaining to the role to the recruiter or for that matter, the recruiter would themselves be selling the role to you. So they will be talking about things like this role requires this technical skills, this skill, that tool, have you worked on that tool or this system that we work on? You can ask all the questions pertaining to the role that what systems do you work on? What kind of tools do you use? What are the technical knowledge that you are looking for and so on and so forth. So this way you will be able to have all the ideas to what the recruiter is looking for, because while, as I said in the beginning, which is 99% of the information would be available on the job description, 
there might still be 1% of the information or 2-3% of the information or some important information which is not mentioned on the job description and the recruiter knows it. Now this has personally happened to me where there was this job that I applied for. I went through the job description. It had very typical finance stuff on it and I qualified for all of them. Now when I went for the first recruiter interview where the recruiter was trying to understand whether I'm the right fit for the role at the same time she was selling the role to me and I was also trying to understand whether they are the right fit for me and in that interview I bypassing asked them that what technical skills if any they are looking for or technical knowledge for that matter and she mentioned that yeah we are looking for someone who has familiarity with forecasting tools now I do have familiarity with forecasting tools so I kind of understood more which is so why are you looking for that uh, familiarity and she said because we want to change the forecasting tool that we want we are using currently in our organization and we want to get uh, an upgrade to a new forecasting tool and hence we are looking for someone who can come and get a new tool for us and integrate it in the organization and I was like this is such an important information which was nowhere on the job description so come my interview with the hiring manager and exactly that's what happened. The interviewer or the hiring manager asked me whether I have had experience implementing new tools or how much experience I've had using a forecasting tool. And thank God I took this knowledge or took this understanding from the HR recruiter interview, took a note of it and was ready and prepared to answer this question. Next is make sure you read your resume one more time before going in the interview. Now I know you've written the resume yourself, so you might be very much confident in terms of, you know what is on the resume, but it would be very smart to check out your resume and read the resume again and make sure if there are any technical terms or technical projects or skills that are mentioned on the resume, you refresh them. Because the interviewer may very well go about asking a technical question from the resume itself. And by the way, this is usually a very smart question because for the interviewer, if they ask you a question from a resume, then they expect you to ace that question, right? You give a home run because it is a question from your resume and not a question that he's creating from uh, thin air. So that means you really have to make sure you don't miss on anything that you've called out on your resume and then you are kind of iffy about it and not so sure. Now this question may simply come in the following form. The interviewer may ask, you mentioned on your resume this trade surveillance and monitoring tool that you've built. Can you please take me through how did you come up with this idea? What is the tool that you built and how did you go about building it? And how did you execute it or implemented the tool? On the same lines, another way to make sure you have strong preparation is to go through the recent courses that you've done where you've had or acquired that particular technical knowledge for which you are interviewing for and make sure you refresh the key concepts. Next, with regards to preparation, I highly recommend you don't go about memorizing something that you have not read at all or have no knowledge prior. This is just too late now. If you are preparing for an interview, which is like one week down the road, and there's a concept which, for which you have zero knowledge, I would recommend don't go about memorizing it. One, they won't be asking you for literal definitions. They want to understand whether you understand the concept or not. So if you give just a literal definition, that won't serve the purpose. And second, it is already too late. So I rather you go in the interview and say, you don't know the answer, but you're ready to learn. And as I said, sell in your passion and your ability to learn fast. Now, let me talk about the most important part, which is how you should go about answering the technical interview question. Number one is to listen to understand. Before you go about answering the question, make sure you understood the question completely. And if you did not understand the question completely, then go and ask clarifying questions. Make sure you have the complete understanding before you start answering. The last thing you want is that the question is about X and you start answering Y. You ramble for two, three minutes and the interviewer stops you and says, oh, oh no, this is not what I was asking. I was asking about X. And now what has happened is you have lost some confidence in the interview and uh, you are shaken now. And this loss of confidence now will hurt the right answer that you will give about the original question and may not be able to give the best answer even if you have the knowledge of that particular question. So make sure you understand before you speak. Second, remember, no one has all the technical knowledge. So don't bluff, rather just come out clean and say, I don't know about this. However, I'm ready to learn and sell in your passion and attitude for learning and your ability to learn fast. 
Now for this, I've also made a separate video where I cover questions for which you don't have an answer and how you should go about tackling such questions because no one will have all the answers that are asked in an interview. There may be certain questions for you which you have like the best answer and there will be certain questions for you which you have average or maybe no answer at all. So this video might help you with that regard. And similarly, if there's a question which is asked, a technical question for which you don't have any knowledge, just don't bluff, sell in your passion and your attitude and your ability to learn fast. So tell them that you don't know, however, you are able to learn this fast and can give an example from past how you were able to learn a particular skill which you didn't have knowledge before, but overnight or over the weekend, or you spent a lot of hours and showed your commitment and were able to learn that particular tool in no time. And hence you would be able to learn this particular technical tool that they are asking you questions about in no time if you get hired. Now, when you go about answering the technical question, first of all, define or give a definition of what that technical term is. Second, give an example to illustrate and expand on the definition. This kind of gives an assurance to the interviewer that you have grasped and knowledge of that technical term or tool. And third, give example from your past experience, either in college, university or workplace, where you've made use of that concept or tool. Again, to give an assurance that you have command on that particular subject. Now, with regards to having prior experience with that particular concept, you can even give an example of a case study where you've used that particular concept in theory and not applied it, but you can give an example of how you've studied it, how you've applied it in a particular case study in your university or college, just to give them an understanding that you have knowledge of that particular term, even if you've not applied it with your own hands in a work setting. Similarly, if you have used this tool or a concept which is similar to the one that they're asking about, so let's say if they're asking you about a tool called Tableau, but you've not worked on the tool Tableau, rather you've worked on the tool Power BI, which is kind of similar. So you can always say that I've not worked on Tableau, I don't have experience with Tableau. However, I have experience with Power BI, which is kind of similar. So this way you're able to assure the interviewer that you have knowledge of this different tool. However, that knowledge is transferable to the tool that they are using or the tool for which they are hiring you. Now, key watchouts or mistakes to avoid. Number one is remember, while this is a technical question or a technical interview, however, you are also being judged on your soft skills. So the key soft skill required here is communication. If there's a particular technical concept, which you can't explain in a very concise, simple way. And what I mean by concise, simple way, I make use of the grandma rule, a concept that you can't explain to your grandma, then my friend, you're losing on that soft skill because you won't be working alone. You won't be just working in a tech environment. Rather, you will be working with people who are non-tech as well. So if there is a technical concept or a technical issue which you need to explain to a non-tech person, you should be able to deliver that communication. So make sure when you're asked this technical question, you're able to communicate in a very simple and concise way. Second, if you don't understand, as I talked, ask questions. Third, if you don't have an answer to a particular question, then don't bluff at all, rather sell in your passion. Now, thank you for watching and hopefully you found this video helpful. Now, whether it's a technical interview or a non-technical interview, there are two questions which are 100% given in an interview. One is about introduce yourself. So here's a video which you can go and check out how to go about answering this question. And second is reverse interview questions, which is when the interviewer asks you if you have any questions for me. Here's the link for that video. Thank you.